Thank you. <laughs> uh, for those who don't know, my name is Paul Kohler. I am the departing head of the School of Law from where so many of your loved ones are graduating today. And perhaps, as perhaps is fitting, if untypical as a lawyer, I will begin with a confession. The means by which I sneak into the list of speakers each year is ostensibly to announce the names of the prize winners from within the School of Law. That, however, was never my plan. There are just too many to mention, whilst frankly, even if I tried, I doubtless, doubtless mispronounce many of your names and cause much insult to your guests. You mean we spent all that money and he doesn't even know your name? <laughs> More importantly, however, it would also completely miss the point of today's ceremony, as you're all prize winners, having worked so hard, particularly in property and equity, <laughs> to achieve your degree. If I might address my lawyers for one moment, I, like you, am moving to a new phase in my relationship with SOAS, as this is my last official act as head of department, before passing the baton to Carol Tan. She cannot be with us today, but asked me to send you her congratulations and to confirm how eager she is to maintain the progress we've made after over the last few years. Now, as you know, change is never easy, and that's as true at SOAS, perhaps more true at SOAS than anywhere. And thus you are leaving just as many of the reforms we've been working on are finally coming to fruition. The School of Law moves to its new location in Senate House next month, the transformed undergraduate syllabus commences this September. And both the four-year LLB featuring a year abroad and the new master syllabus kick in from 2017. You joined a good law department. You are leaving a better one, but I want you to have studied at a great school of law. And all these changes are designed to help achieve that end. The rest, however, is down to each of you. Four is equally applicable to the non-lawyers in the hall. You're going out into the world as SOAS graduates, and it's up to you to make that count. Particularly now, with a tolerant, pluralist, global perspective for which SOAS stands is under such threat, be it the folly of Brexit, the rhetoric of Trump, the bloodshed in Syria, or the evils of terrorism. Remember my constant mantra in class. You have one life, so use it well. Whether your next destination is a large city law firm, a small legal aid practice, an NGO, industry, government, the UN, or, if I may be so bold, the EU, <laughs> I want you to use what you learnt here to make a difference there. In short, you are now so as alumni, and that comes with real responsibility, as everything you say and do, both good and, please do not forget it, ill, will reflect on the rest of us. I do not doubt you will achieve great things, but can I make a plea that you keep us informed of your progress? Firstly, because it's important for our community of scholars that we maintain a dialogue. Now your current degree, but not your association with SARS, has come to an end. But also because in my new role in charge of alumni relations, I'm keen to create a vibrant law alumni association which, I promise, is about more than just pressurising you to fund a scholarship once you become a partner at Clifford Chance. Now, I do not doubt that some of you will be selling yourselves on a beach in Goa or some other exotic climb in six months' time, but many others will have embarked on graduate employment, various courses and training schemes. The point is that whatever you're doing, we'd like to know, even if it is simply partying in Bali. So please ensure that you sign up on our alumni program and become an active member of the worldwide SOAS community. Finally, can I just say how much we've enjoyed your time with us, your vibrancy, the revived Student Law Society, the student-edited SOAS Law Journal, and the success of the SOAS Moot Team in the Vienna Negotiation Competition, to perhaps unfairly cite that three examples from many is infectious, the reason why I truly enjoyed so much my time as being your head. As you know, our school of law, like so generally, is often challenging, sometimes maddening, but always exciting. Historically, we were the first school of global law, and my aspiration is us, for us to be the premier school of global law. That ultimately is down to each and every one of you. So can I finish by wishing you a heartfelt and fond farewell? 
as you go out into the world carrying our love, pride, hope, and anticipation with you. Thank you.